So looking at sheet 8a, and we're looking at problem one. So problem one says you have 44.5 grams of carbonic acid reacting with 32.3 grams of lithium hydroxide in a double replacement reaction. How many grams of lithium carbonate are produced? So the first thing it tells you to do is write your balanced equation. So based upon what information we're given, we know we have carbonic acid, which is H2CO3, plus lithium hydroxide, and that's going to be a double replacement. So the hydrogen and the lithium are going to swap, which makes lithium carbonate, and we have to exchange charges there. And then we're going to make water, and for balancing purposes, I'm going to write that as HOH. If you look at this, then you'll first notice it, that your lithiums are not balanced. So there's two here, so I'm going to put a two here. That leaves me with two hydroxides, so I'm going to put a two here. And then everything else is balanced. I have the same number of hydrogens, two and two, same number of carbons, and same number of oxygens. Next, I'm going to write how much of each thing I'm given and then what I'm looking for. So they told me I have 44.5 grams of carbonic acid and I have 32.3 grams of lithium hydroxide. And then I'm looking at how many grams of lithium carbonate are produced. So in order to figure this out, I first need to figure out who's my limiting reactant. And the only way to do that is to write um, two conversions, one going from grams of carbonic acid to lithium carbonate, and then another going from lithium hydroxide to lithium carbonate. And whichever one of these makes less, that's going to decide who my limiting reactant is in how much lithium carbonate I actually make. So I'm going to set up my first one. So I'm going to take my carbonic acid amount, put it over one, convert that into moles, then use my mole ratio. And then go back to grams of lithium carbonate. So if I do this, I will find that I produce 52.9 grams of lithium carbonate. Uh, and then I'm going to have to see what my other reactant produces. So in that case, I have 32.3 grams of lithium hydroxide. I'm going to do the same set of steps. I'm going to convert that into moles. Mass from the periodic table. And then I'm going to use my mole ratio. And then I'm going to convert back to grams. And if I do that, I find I make 49.8 grams of lithium carbonate. So what that tells me is that the lithium hydroxide is my limiting reagent or reactant. And so <laughs> this number is not going to matter, and this is my answer. So I make 49.8 grams of lithium carbonate.